We have already covered most of the functionality in IntelliDAC Lite, and the rest of this video will show more examples and the remaining features. This image is page one of a three-page document, as indicated by the tree. This image has an interesting situation that you should watch out for. A social security number is exposed under the FEIN SSN set heading, so we will redact it. Once again, to create the redaction, double-click the mouse to change the cursor into a pencil and drag the mouse to draw the redaction box. Now if you look closely at this image, you'll find two more occurrences of the same number without the hyphens, hidden within the case number above, and even as an unlabeled number at the top of the page. Make sure you look for and redact all instances of the number. Incidentally, the full version of IntelliDact has a feature called Dynamic Suggestions that provides this functionality. Now that we're finished redacting this image, here are two more useful features. The Preview button on the toolbar allows you to see what the final redacted image will look like. You can change the zoom level here and print the image if needed. The print button on the toolbar allows you to print the image with or without the overlaid redaction fields. Now let's jump to the third document. Save, yes. This image was scanned sideways. While you can draw a redaction in any direction, the page will be much easier to read if you use the rotation buttons on the toolbar. Here is rotate right 90 degrees, rotate left 90 degrees. On this image, there are two social security numbers, a minor child name and the child's date of birth. It is entirely up to you which privacy items you're required to redact. Let's redact them all. So far, we have entered redaction mode one field at a time, requiring a double click in each occurrence. You can avoid this by clicking on the pencil tool in the toolbar to enter persistent redaction mode, where we can redact one redaction box after another without interruption, as shown here. Let's add another few items. Now we're left with a few unwanted un redaction fields. The active field is indicated by the red handles and also highlighted in the tree. To delete a field, click on the red X button on the toolbar. We're now finished with redaction and ready for the next step. The Open Batch button on the toolbar is used when you want to exit the current batch and select another. You can press it at any time in your session. You can accomplish the same thing if you hit the Page Down key when you're on the last image of a batch. You're prompted to either close or suspend the batch. I'm pressing Page Down now. Yes, I want to save redaction changes. You would suspend if you haven't finished reviewing the batch, otherwise click close. And we are clicking close. Since we elected to close the batch, the list of available batches now includes only number two and number three. You can select one of these or exit the program, but we are going to exit. Now if we open the Cofax Capture Batch Manager, we can see the batch we just validated, ready for release. Here it is, batch number one in the release queue. Let's process it.
now refresh the batch manager screen and since the batch has been completed it's no longer on the batch list we're going to close the batch list let's look at the folder where the released images will be located these are the final versions of the images with the redactions permanently burnt in as you can see a redaction on the first image, three redactions on the second image, and four redactions on the third image. Note that in the third image it's still rotated. And that's all there is to it. Please see our other videos on how to install IntelliDAC Lite and how to configure the Kofax Capture release script.